Welcome all beautiful beings to this uh, next session we have together. Uh, I'm so filled with all the sharings from earlier today and all the uniqueness and how we co-create together. Uh, and I'm very curious about uh, these next two hours we have together and what we'll have open and how we can um, uh, we this time and I uh, really would love to invite our next speaker uh, Berit uh, and um, yes as I feel you I have been dancing with you <laughs> once <laughs> it was a really amazing uh, experience and I really love your energy and your playfulness and uh, and I know you have so much wisdom to share through your dance and through your, your yoga and everything you do. And I feel you as you have a huge palette of, of gifts that you really share so generous with the world. So yes, uh, I would really like to invite you Berit and um, to introduce yourself. Welcome. It is me now, is it? Yes, yes, yes welcome. <laughs> yes, thank you so much. Yes, I will introduce myself by what I'm saying now. Um, well, I can say that I am a, a teacher of the five rhythms free dance and I have been a coach for 30 40 years and uh, I'm a yoga teacher and uh, a breath worker so <clears throat> but let me say that <clears throat> since I was a child I had this question who am I who are we? What, why are we here on this planet? And what are we to do here? And this was very strong for me. <clears throat> but it was not until I was a teenager that I found people who had the same question and that I could uh, communicate with that. But gradually, I found people and uh, were introduced to uh, masters, uh, wise women and men uh, that talked about great wisdom. And this inspired me so much. And first, I wanted to share all this with the world so the world could uh, realize how fantastically we could live together if we realize this. Uh, but gradually, I also realized that this is not what I am going to focus on. It is I who need to be focused on. It is I who need to be transformed, helped, changed. So <clears throat> it was then, um, 1985, I came to Vextuset the first time, um, a course place that was established by Lena Kristina Tulsa, who also is uh, one of the Swedish speakers. And coming here, I learned breathwork. And I realized how I can help my body, my whole system to be freer through breathwork. And that was fantastic. And gradually, I was also educated to become a teacher of breathwork. So now I had a tool for transformation and freeing my own system 
and that I could also help others to do. Uh, I became a yoga teacher, uh, but what I truly, truly was longing for was to dance. Uh, I just couldn't find a, an environment that fit me. I didn't fit in uh, in many of these uh, dance environments. So it was not until uh, 1990 when Gabrielle Roth, um, the great American shaman and lady, wrote her first book about uh, the five rhythms, free dance. But she lived in California and it was not possible for me to go there at that time. Uh, but uh, fortunately, people came from other disciplines and influences to Sweden with free dance. And I was able to start to practice uh, free dance. And this was so great and so inspiring. And uh, then Gabrielle educated people um, in Europe to be teachers of the five rhythms. So I was able to um, uh, go and do workshops with them and uh, practice free dance of the five rhythms more and more. And also, after a few years, also with Gabrielle herself. And uh, 2005, I was an educated fire rhythm dancer. <clears throat> As a teenager, I lost the good contact with my body because at that time, uh, there was a social view of how women should look like and be. And I didn't fit into this and not my body either. So I judged my body uh, a lot and uh, I was not happy to be in it. The breath work helped me to open up, to be in my body and to enjoy it more. But it was not until I found the free dance that I started to have fun in my body. Wow. You can dance and have fun in your body and be happy to be in this body. It was so incredible. So this big separation I had experienced between me and the body uh, gradually disappeared. And <clears throat> also I realized that it is the free dance that works for me because I need to be able to be wild, naturally wild. That means untamed. And I needed to throw out a lot of structures from my body that was holding me back, creating tension, um, uh, not allowing me freedom, bodily freedom. And this, the free dance, helped me to realize. And the more I just let go of judging my dancing, uh, trying to do it right and not wrong, because that doesn't work, the more I allow my body total freedom on the dance floor, the happier I was. And the more of um, not supporting structures disappeared. In the beginning, it was difficult to move actually, because I had never danced and I didn't like my body. But the more I found my movements, the more uh, I was able also to learn to spin. As we all know, uh, everything is born into nature through um, energy spirals. And realizing this, I started to understand, aha, uh -huh, this is why dervishes spin. So I gradually started to teach my body to spin. And it's so easy, it's so natural. 
it is just in the beginning, you may be a little dizzy, but then you can spin for how long you want. I have only tried for 40 minutes in one go, but um, I, I don't think there really is a limit uh, for it. And then in this spinning, I realized all these structures that is stuck here and there in my body or stress of today, it, the spinning throws it out. So now I, if I have a day where I am not, where I, when I don't spin a little at least, I miss it. And it is such a great tool to be able to spin. And, um, the joy of the dance um, makes my life joyous, even if there are challenges, of course. We all have great challenges now. But uh, when I dance and spin and invite the source energy into my body, the body and I get happy and joyous even if it is difficult in my surroundings. So this has helped me to choose um, the inner environment. Uh, a couple of years after I was educated fire rhythm teacher, um, I had a very special experience in nature. Uh, the raven is a dear friend of mine, and I used to talk with ravens. And this day in nature, the raven came to me very powerfully and so close, just over my head, so I fell to the ground. And I thought this was fun, so I laughed. And uh, then an eagle flew up. Wow, an eagle. And in the next moment, lying there on the ground laughing, I started to cry because everything was so sad. And my friend who was with me, she really wondered what is going on. And I didn't know what was going on. And I talked about, because I had an inner sight of a condor that was flying over uh, uh, the condor's landscape. And it was so sad. What was this? Um, so it was some time later, my friend came to my dance classes and he, she held up a book in front of me that was called The Eagle and the Condor by Jonette Crowley. And wow, I got, got this book and I read it immediately. And there I understood that I had connected to an Indian myth that when the eagle and the condor can be in the same space, share um, their environment, that will be when there is peace on earth and when human beings connect from their hearts and not their minds only. So I contacted Jeanette and uh, she introduced me to uh, a way of um, connecting with my consciousness that I hadn't done before. She is a channeler of great uh, universal fields and also of um, White Eagle who once lived on this planet, but mainly she is channeling um, uh, wisdom fields. And she helped me to connect with wisdom fields, particularly one called Mark. And in the beginning, I needed to listen to her to be able to make this connection. But now I don't need her anymore because these wisdom fields, they are in all of us, of course. It is us. And when I had opened up to it, I could connect with it myself. And the incredible thing I learned was that 
um, with this connection, plugging in to this universal source we have in us, I can immediately bring my soul energy, my universal being energy and consciousness into my body. And it takes no time. Um, it happens now. The only thing needed is my intention to do it. So since then, I have intended this uh, plugging in connection with my universal being. And then I am here, not only as a human being, but, but I am here as a universal soul in a human being body. And this is so, so, so great. And it fills me with joy every time I do it. And throughout the day, if I become too mental and burdened, bear it. Um, connect with your soul, ask it to come into your body with the highest possible frequency and, and consciousness now, and shoof, it's there. And I am back in being in joy, um, in my power, um, in my, um, what I want to be here. And what I love to do here, or to be here, it is a connector uh, for people and to help us all to realize who are we? Who have we come here to be? Because I have realized throughout these last years that every human being is so incredibly special everybody has a universal being as a source and to connect with that makes it much easier to be who i have come here to be and the great paradigm shift as i see it now it is that we continue to live more and more from our hearts connecting to support each other to come from our hearts and not only from our mentality. The mental mind is a fantastic tool, but it also may have structures that is not so serving. So let it become a tool. And I am here as a human universal being. And my great passions then is to dance, to let my body uh, merge with this, be with this, have fun with this, and then uh, to, to actually be in it, be in this universal space, whatever is happening for me. Maybe I have talked for 15 minutes, I don't know, but... Uh, um, Yes, I will stop there at the moment. Thank you so much, beloved sister Berit. Oh, I just I just feel the joy that you're sharing and that's ex expanding through you and this inner power is just rippling out here into our field and out in the universe. Thank you. I feel so inspired. It's like I want to dance now in this moment. Don't you agree with me? It's really, oh, and in this also this soft, very honoring, beautiful love space. So thank you so much, beloved sister, for uh, being here uh, and sharing your grace and your love. Thank you. Thank you so much, dear soul sister and sisters. Oh, I'm just feeling so warm and it's so, um, I feel very joy filled and uh, graceful also. So thank you so much. So it's been such an honor of co-creating. Co and yes, I really feel my body wants to dance now. <laughs> so it's like doing that inside. 
And wow, I, it's, you know, one magical being after the another magical being of light is coming here, entering the, the, into the field, into the group, into the scream is radiating out in the world.